What's up fellow Wastelanders, this is KJ48 and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Let's Play. This is episode 43 and we are just sitting here at my house in Sanctuary. And um, came home last night, I went to the Sanctuary Bar and Grill, the place was hopping, it was bumping. Uh, the, the, late, the honeys were out in, in force, it was awesome. Uh, so I just came home and uh, crashed it off it up about four hours because you know I was pretty blasted. And uh, now we're going to go out and do some uh, some interesting things today. So, I have a couple things to bring up to speed on. First of all, I went ahead and got myself a nice pimped out auto shotgun here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just an auto shotgun. I went ahead and modded it. Let me take a look at it really quick and show you what I did. Nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, where is it? Uh, weapons, here we go. I named it Cages Justice. 74 damage, auto shotgun. Um, I went ahead and did some buying and selling with uh, the dude in um, the pr the pr Pridwin, Pridwin? Yeah, Pridwin ship. And uh, I didn't buy the fiber optics because I didn't need them, but they are there if I want to get them. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and did that. I also got some grenades on me. I'm going to try and start using grenades. Um, I kind of want to... I actually I accidentally threw some Molotovs last night during the block party at the uh, bar and grill. Kind of burned down a tree over there. Uh, it was a mistake. I didn't mean to. So, But, you know, there, it is what it is. Um, I actually have been wanting to get dog meat for quite a while, and um, I kind of misplaced him, okay? So if you guys want to know how to get dog meat back, I think this happens with a lot of other NPCs, but each NPC has a game ID, and I only know dog meats. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to type the, the tilde key, and you're going to type in um, prid, P-R-I-D, space, and this is for dog meat only, 0001D... 162. That's the, that's the code for uh, dog meat. What that does is it, it brings up dog meat on your screen for you. And then once you've done that, you go move to space. I think it says move to player, but I'm not sure if you're supposed to do move to player or move to your name. I did move to player and I did move to KJ48 and it eventually uh, zoomed dog meat right to me and uh, got him got me back. So got him back to me. So that's really awesome. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna dip we're gonna ditch dance because he's a killjoy. He cock blocked me at the at the block party last night. I'm not really ha I'm not really happy about that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on and we are going to spend our our uh, perks because I completely forgot about my perks and I have three saved up. So the first thing we're gonna do now that we have dog meat is we're gonna go with Lone Wanderer. Who needs friends anyway? When adventuring without a companion, and dog meat doesn't count for this for some reason, um, you take 15% less damage and carry weight increases by 50. At least that's what I was told. Let's test this actually. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, let's F5 this and test it. It's really easy to tell. Our, our carry weight is 240, okay? If our carry weight goes up, it worked. So here we go, Lone Wanderer. There we go. And our carry weight is now 290. Okay, so dog meat does not indeed count uh, as like a... I guess they, they should say human companion or maybe sentient companion. I'm not, I'm not really sure, but uh, dog meat doesn't count. So do we want to put another point into that? Um, you could put two points total, which, yeah, definitely. When adventure without a companion, you take 30% less damage and increase carry weight by 100. Actually, you could put three points in it. But I have to be level 40 for the third point. So I'm going to put my last point in Locksmith. So I can pick some better locks. Okay. And there's all our points spent. I told you about the gun I made. Um, I told you that we got dog meat back. I bailed on Dance, the uh, the Killjoy. And um, yeah. Okay, cool. So let's go back to the Pridwin and uh, turn in our quest. You remember last, uh, last episode we went and killed a bunch of muties. And uh, now we're going to go get our Just Rewards. So right here we got the Pridwin, and uh, let's get back there. I've 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 decided that I've been taking this uh, Brotherhood of Steel thing a little too seriously and worrying about it too. Oh my God! Look at that freaking gun. Jesus. It was a, it is a like a mini gun, but I don't know what that is. Jeez, it looks like an awfully painful sex toy for a behemoth. Anyway. Um, I've, de I've decided that I've been going a little crazy with the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. I'm just going to just go with it. See where it takes me. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to think too hard about it. Um, I'm going to think about it in video game terms. Uh, some people were upset that I was getting into politics. Uh, you know what? This is a, just a video game. We're just going to have fun. So I'm not going to worry about that anymore. 
All right, so here's our guy. What's up, bro? Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. You're damn right. Um. Uh, it was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. Too bad it was in, too, too bad it was the institute. It was a piece. Of, yeah, that's it. Eh, it was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way, because it only gets more difficult from here. In order to bring the institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. I already have fast travel. I don't really care about this. Um, where can I get more signal grenades? Thank you. I'll make good use of the best weapon to survive out there is, uh, is a pocket full of caps. Will the vertebrates help stay and help me fight? Um, where do I get more signal grenades? Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. In other words, I have to buy them. Uh, the best weapon for survival is a pocket full of caps. Yes. Give me money. The best weapon for survival out here is a pocket full of caps. Signal grenades are usually reserved for our paladins. In your case, you should be grateful that I'm making an exception. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Uh... Just gonna couldn't find entire colony of people with all this technology at their disposal our scribes can't find an entire colony of people the Institute has managed to keep itself hidden for a number of years but it's only a matter of time before we find them I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground you seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles if you discover a way in I need you to report it to me immediately any questions night uh, any suggestions? Any suggestions where I should look next? I'd pursue your lead regarding Dr. Amari. I'm not certain if she's a crackpot, or if she can genuinely assist your search. But our sources say she has some interesting technology at her disposal. Anything else tonight? No, it's fine. Not right now, Elder. You're Very boring well. me, Elder. Dismissed. Okay. Let's get outside and see what's going on. Do I want to go on all of these guys' quests? Do I want to try something different? I don't know. Maybe we should just wander the wasteland. You know, we've been doing quests and building and very focused things. Maybe we should just wander the wasteland. What do you think? Just let's let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Uh, we don't have any quest markers down that I can see. So um. Let's go to the let's go to the Boston airport and just wander around, guys. I just kind of feel like you know, just getting into some adventures, having some fun. Just you know, we'll do some like side quests or whatever. Not worry about all this heavy crap and just kind of chill out. I'm going on vacation soon. I kind of want to get in the mindset. All right, let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. Come on, man. Ugh. I'm getting tired. I got a couple more videos to do today, though. All right. So what's in here? I heard that Elder Maxon got that scar in his face from going one on one with a death claw. Oh, he's a real hero. Heard you gave those muties at Fort Strong something to think about. Well, they're not thinking about anything anymore because I blew their heads off. I do want to get a missile launcher going too. That'd be pretty cool. What's your deal? By Elder Maxon's orders, all forms of technology should be confiscated or collected. Whatever. Try and collect my stuff. See what happens. 
Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of the Commonwealth scum can be fatal. Um, okay. Good good advice. What's in here? You think the Commonwealth looks bad? You should see the Capital Wasteland. Been there, been there, honey. Ooh, military duct tape. That's like super duct tape. I've heard about that. Come on, boy. Let's go. Good to have you back, boy. I was getting get tired of dancing and running his mouth about whatever the hell he's talking about. Uh, yeah, we got we got a lot of weight now. We can carry. We can carry a lot of loot. So nothing over here, huh? Inaccessible. Okay. Let's Treat your power armor well. Hey. Get you through anything. It's No Legs McGee. What's up? All right. At Victorium, brother. Shut up. All right, so where are we going? Uh, we're going the wrong way, actually. We need to go this way. My bad. My bad, bro. See, dog meat knew where we were going. I'm proud to be serving under Elder Max. I had enough of lions. <laughs> Got anything in here? What's up here? What's going on here? What's the skinny? What's the lowdown? Oh, here we go. See? See, we're just gonna walk around and find some stuff. I've been watching Paul Search Jr. play this, uh, and he walks everywhere. He does. He never quick travels, which I just find amazing. By the way, must waste so much time walking around. But he's inspired me to walk around too. So let's just uh, let's walk around. Ooh, dark alleys. I don't see how this could go wrong. Hello? <whistles> Anybody around? Ooh, a light. Let's head to that light. This looks like a stronghold. What's in here? Traders welcome. What's this? East Boston School Pre Preparatory. Never heard of that. Prepar Preparatory? Alright, what do we got here? Come on. Finish loading. Maybe we should put our gun away. I hear someone. Combat positions. Oh. Oh, it's a raider. Okay. Nothing there now. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Everything's starting to sound like a good step. What the? Stop it, dog. Oh, this person's done. Whoa. Thought you could hide. hide. Oh, man, please don't get Get off. Again. Get off. Hmm? Who's out there? I'm surprised they didn't one shot her. Shit's got ambush all over it. Blood contract, bottle caps, right. stim packs. Who's there? I gotta take it all, guys. I'm sorry. I can't leave stuff. You guys got me stirred up over nothing. Say so good night. Really, you have a wrench. Like, what the hell are you thinking? Whoops. I don't know why I'm taking everything. I know a lot of this stuff's not worth it, but I can't help myself. Okay, cut the shit. Nothing. Who is that? At least it sure as hell looks that way. What the hell was that? Oh, look at that. Damn it, phone. Pack it in, boys. There's nothing out Pack it in, boys. Nothing going on over here. The jet will make you jittery. Guess she was right. Hey. I 
They must be on like an upper floor or something. Alright, enough. I don't care that much. This is taking too long. Oh, cool! A bowling pin! Soap! I'm not, I'm not gonna smell. How'd you not see me, dude? Here, maybe that'll make it easier. Say goodnight, Raider Raider Scaver. Hold on a sec. Hold on, time out. Time out. Molotov. Yeah, what are what is Molotov on? Six. Okay. <laughs> Bro, you're on fire. Don't you care? Dog. <laughs> Own sucker. Oh, hold on, loot time. I don't need no dirty rags. Think you're tough? Come on. They have the fire dog meat. F5. There we go. Still kicking? Jesus! Okay. Just getting started. Just getting started, huh? I'll go through loot off cameras. Just take it off for now. <laughs> oh, look at you. We need someone a little bit more range. Of course you're losing people. You're fighting KJ48. Okay. Oh, they have attack dogs? I didn't even notice. How much you got left in you? Oh, I got plenty, bro. How much you got? Think you can win this, huh? I've already won. A matter of time. Watch out, dog meat. Ah! I'll give you that. All right, I've leveled up. We'll deal with that later. I'm using vats to spot landmines. You're dead. You hear me? All right, take it easy. I'll be up there in a minute. Where's that? Definitely gonna have to go up and down at some point, but. How was that? How dare you kick my dog? Nobody kicks dog meat. Nobody! That's right, dog meat. 
Nobody kicks you. Okay. Look at this makeshift cell. Oh god, there's just like a bucket for them to like go doo doo in. Huh. That sucks. Doesn't look like it could hold people though. Pretty sure I could get out of there. That's it. Um, okay, what was the point of that? Nothing. Figured if they had something locked, there'd be a reason to, you know, unlock it. Although you do get experience for it, so. What do we got here? Nothing. Where did I come from? I came from that way, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Oh yeah, bourbon. Ah, oh, crap. Actually, this is a good time to call it. Um, we're going to call this one here. I'll do some transfers, and then uh, we'll get back to it next episode. So that's going to be it for episode 43. See you next time for episode 44. Until then, take it easy.